All right, so we're going to wing it with something incredibly different today. This is NHL 96 on the original Game Boy. Now, well, you got to think about that for a second. This is a sports game. Oops. What's that? I guess that's... I'm changing the... See, I know I can edit things from here. From the Super Game Boy. But I guess I can change it from blue to yellow. But anyway, I can't skip it. It shows the credits before the game. I don't quite understand that. But you got to think about this. There were sports games on the Atari. There were sports games from the beginning. Pong was technically a sports game. But it was on a TV screen. When you think about this, you're playing a sports game on a screen the size of, what, like a square inch? Probably a little bigger than that. And it was in green and black, or green and darker green, really. And just, was it more because they wanted to put sports games on everything, or was it just because they thought they could do it? Well, I already know how this is going to go, so let's, uh... Oh, jeez. Our <laughs> teams are wearing the same colored shirts. One, one team is yellow and red, and the other one is red and yellow. So I'm the one that's red and yellow... God, the frame rate. Look at this frame rate. This thing is going at maybe four or five frames per second. You can count the frames. It's just like, it, there's no reaction time because by the time you can push the buttons and then after you have pushed the buttons and everything takes place. I, I don't know what just happened. See, I don't know a lot about sports. Hockey and baseball are the only two that I ever consider decent besides like golf and tennis. But I'm talking like team sports. This is one of the few that I could actually... I, I wouldn't mind watching on a TV. Um, now, as far as teams go, I don't really care. <laughs> um, oh, that's me. I thought it was the other team. I was like, why isn't my character chasing him down? It's because I was chasing myself. Okay, so I guess B is pass, and A is trying to score, I think. Yeah, this is, this is so difficult to play. Uh-oh, 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 oh no. Alright, so that hockey game kind of imploded on itself, so we're going to go over to tennis, and, uh, show you what a real sports game on the Game Boy was like. <laughs> as real as you're gonna get, I guess. Now, I know what you're gonna say. It's not as intensive as hockey because you only have two people on screen. You know, it's basically 3D Pong, I guess, pretty much. But, I mean, there's ways they could have adjusted to make that other game work. And they did none of that. They could have easily made the sprites smaller, more like this. I mean, you know, it it, it was hard to see. Not only was the frame rate bad, but it, you could barely see what you were playing. Now, just because this is a better game does not make me better at sports games. I am still terrible. Unless you get into, like, Mario Tennis. I can do Mario Tennis, but these old tennis games which is so difficult. Now there was a lot of other games on the Game Boy that were sports. There was golf, which I do have. Um, but that's just golf. Everybody remembers golf. It doesn't take too much to do golf. Um, it's when you have a lot of people on screen, more motion, more action, that's when it gets more difficult for a system to run it. Now, once again, tennis is not that difficult to run, since it was technically the first game ever created, you know, Tennis for Two, back on a, uh, I forget the name of the, the, the computer, it's something VAC, I don't remember, <laughs> but yeah, it was made in the 50s, so if you can make tennis games in the 1950s, anything can play tennis. Oops. <laughs> Yep, so, um, I'm losing again. 
let's try to at least... Uh, so I lost that round. <laughs> what do you expect? Let's change sides. I always hated Nintendo's games that put you on the top of the screen. This is not one of them, luckily. Uh, Mario Tennis was one that did that a lot. However, you could change that in the settings, which I always did, because I have a hard time playing it from the top. Um, I don't know if it's just because most games were based off of the bottom of the screen. Um, just, just think about it for a minute. Can you think of any game that you were always at the top of the page? Or screen, not the page. You know, uh, Arkanoid or Breakout, those kind of games, your paddle was at the bottom. Um, you know, Kaboom, oops, pinball games, everything's centered around the bottom. So it's just a little off-putting. I wish there was a run button, but there isn't. All there is is a smack button. Yeah, so... The Game Boy... <laughs> I didn't even have to hit that. The Game Boy... Just imagine this... But without the color, and on a small screen, with no backlight. Not easy to play. And yeah, I know I normally play Game Boy games on a Game Boy. But these games were Super Game Boy enabled. So, you know, I don't play on a Super Nintendo Super Game Boy very often anyway. So I thought I'd, I'd get this thing back out. When I was younger, I always played on here. Come on. Oops. Either this or the GameCube. When I was at home, I'd, I'd almost never play it on the actual handheld system. Which I kind of wish I would have done so, because, wow, I'm doing really bad. Uh, now, I have a thing with handhelds. I have a hard time playing them in general, because it's just, there's something about it that's just weird to me. Wow. How did he get three? He didn't, didn't win three times, did he? Yes, he did. <laughs> I forgot. This is round four. So how many of you used to play this back in the day? Or still have it and still play it? Or how many of you switched to... Virtua Tennis? Or... Or, um... Wii, Wii Tennis. <laughs> Wii Tennis. You can just flail your arms and you can win it that one. Well, you get the idea. I'm really bad at this. What do you expect? So I hope you enjoyed my quick look at what sports games on a Game Boy would look like. I'll see you next time.